Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, back with our new camp of the week, and this time we're checking out Stormy's camp. He's got a really neat little camp, uh, my first thought though when I saw the Minuteman rode on the side was to blow it up, because I really do not have fond memories of Preston Garvey and the Minuteman. So I see Minuteman and the first thing I think of is, I want to punch Preston Garvey in the face, and you know who all is with me. But man, those, those quests got really annoying. Now as for his camp, of course I did enjoy his water pump back there hanging out inside a rock. That was cool. Now back he's got his little garden. Kind of sheltered to where the average person's not going to notice it if they're showing up to buy some stuff. Now let's head back up front. Now as you make your way up into his camp, you're greeted by a robot that's just going to talk about random junk. Because that's what he does. That's what he's into. Working our way up. He's got some pumpkins on display. As you continue on. Got a couple workbenches up here. Tinker workbench. Weapon. Solid. And then we've got the vending machines. Nice. Sitting right out in the front of the camp so you can't miss them. Always a good idea. It, it gets really old going to buy stuff from people's camps and they hide their vending machines. I never, I'll never understand it. Now as we go into his camp, we'll find several more workbenches. We'll also find that apparently he's been collecting some gory stuff, throwing it on display. Good old scorched body parts. Now over here we have another weapons workbench, an armor workbench. Of course, a couple storage boxes. And we've got a cardboard guy just kind of standing, blocking your way towards his fusion generator. Now we'll continue our way back around. I really like that poster. The Lone Wanderer. Now over here he does have a, a weapon on display. Pretty cool. But let's head upstairs. Now up here, another one of the Lone Wanderer posters. Leave work behind. Now he has a second Tinkerer's workbench up here. He's definitely going all out on the workbenches. Like. If you need one, he's got it covered. Of course, he had a couple of the responder skins for his weapons on display. Looking really good. Now we've got his bedroom. Pretty basic, but I like it. Not, It's not too much. All right, he's keeping it minimal, and I like it. Now I do wonder, since it says Minuteman outside, if above the door right here... If he would much rather have a laser musket. I mean, I, I don't know. Now here on the balcony, he does have the power armor station. And he, he's got a couple sets of stairs that will lead you up to the very top of his house. Where he's got his Free States flag. Which, I, I guess, kind of interferes with the Minuteman thing. But we don't have a Minuteman flag. And we probably won't get one. So that going to have to be happy with that. Now we'll work our way back through his house. Now he does have all of his booze needs covered. Because if you're a minute man, you're going to have to drink. All right? It's the only way you're getting through Preston Garvey. Yeah. A settlement needs your help. We're working our way back out. That's going to wrap up his camp. A huge thank you to Stormy for letting me share it with all of you. Now, if you've got a camp that you want shared in Camp of the Week, two things. One, you have to be on Xbox. Two, hop down in the comments, give me your gamer tag. You never know where I'll show up next. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Later.